urban legend of the Hulk. One summer night, a teenage boy was going out on a date with his new girlfriend. He picked her up at her house, and they drove out to the edge of town. They parked the car in a secluded spot that was a well-known lovers' lane. As they gazed out at the lights of the town, the boy put his arm around the girl and switched on the car radio so they could listen to some romantic music. He leaned over, and the young couple began kissing and cuddling. Just as they were getting into the mood, the music suddenly stopped, and a newsreader's voice came on the radio. This is an emergency announcement. Earlier tonight, a crazed birder escaped from the state mental asylum. Police are warning citizens be on their guard since the patient is considered armed and dangerous. The insane killer is nicknamed the Hook Man because after he lost his right hand in an accident, it was replaced with a steel hook. Everyone in the area should be on the lookout for a man fitting this description. If you see anything suspicious, you should report it to the police immediately. The girl became frightened and asked to be taken home. She knew that the state insane asylum was not far from the lovers' lane. She was also worried that the remote area where they were parked was the perfect spot for a deranged madman to lurk. The bull was feeling brave and assured his girlfriend that they were perfectly safe. He locked all of the car doors, then tried to kiss her again. The girl became frantic and pushed him away, insisting that they leave immediately. In a huff, the bull slammed the car into gear and spun its wheels as he pulled it out of the parking space. On the way back to town, they both calmed down, but the girl still held on tightly to her boyfriend. When they pulled up outside the girl's house, the boy got out of the car and walked around to open the door for his girlfriend. For a long time, he just stood there, staring at the door. At first, the girl couldn't figure out what was wrong. Then she realized that her door was still locked. She smiled in and locked it. Still, the boy just stood there. The girl was puzzled and rolled down her window. Then she saw that the boy was staring down at the door handle. Slowly, she looked down herself and began to scream uncontrollably. There, hanging from the door handle, was a bloody, stainless steel hut. Urban legend of the bedroom light. There were two girls who were the best of friends in school. When they went to college, they decided to live together and became roommates. One night, they were staying up late trying to do some last-minute studying for a midterm exam that was scheduled for the next morning. One of the girls was quite lazy, so she decided to give up studying and went to bed early. The other girl was a hard worker, so she stayed up late because she wanted to do well in the exam. During the night, the girl who stayed up remembered that she had left one of the books she needed in her bedroom. She didn't want to wake her roommate by turning on the light, so she sneaked into the bedroom and rummaged around in the dark, looking for the book she needed. She heard some heavy breathing, and she whispered her roommate's name, asking her if she was awake. There was no answer. Then the girl heard something moving around in the dark, and she whispered, Can I turn on the bedroom light? The girl cleared her throat and asked again, Can I turn on the bedroom light? I need to find something. Her roommate didn't respond. So the girl sighed in frustration and continued to search for the book in the darkened bedroom. Eventually, she found the one she was looking for. The girl took the book and felt her way in the darkness towards the door. She stayed up all night studying and in the morning raced down to the exam hall to take her test. But she noticed that her roommate never showed up for the exam. The girl was worried about her friend, so when she got home, she rushed upstairs and knocked on her roommate's door. There was no answer. The girl was getting quite anxious at this point, so she opened the door and turned on the bedroom light. She was met with the most horrible sight she had ever laid eyes on. Her roommate lay motionless, sprawled on top of her bed in a pool of blood. She had been brutally murdered. Then the girl turned around and saw something that chilled her to the bone. Written on the wall behind her in smeared blood were the words, Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? The urban legend of The Mothman The Mothman is a scary, unexplained creature with large red eyes and large wings like a maw. It was first sighted in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and was made famous 
by the 2002 movie The Mothman Prophecies and has appeared before major world disasters. The creature often appears to have no head, with red eyes set into its chest. It has been photographed and been seen by eyewitnesses and has chased and harassed a number of people. The first sighting of Mothman was in November 1966 in Point Pleasant, Virginia. Two newlywed couples were driving together on Route 62 when they saw a dark figure on a hillside up ahead. It was almost seven feet tall and it had red eyes and large black wings folded behind its back. As they watched, it spread its wings and flew into the air. They sped off, but the dark figure followed them, even though they were driving at over 100 miles per hour. Later that night, a man was at home watching TV when the screen suddenly went dark and was filled with a weird pattern. Just then, he heard a loud, high-pitched whining noise coming from outside his house. When he went out to see what it was, he saw a large red eye staring at him from the darkness. His dog took off after it and never came back. That night, the man was so scared he slept with a gun next to his bed. News of the strange sightings spread around the world and newspapers nicknamed the creature Mothman. Between 1966 and 1967, over 100 people saw the mysterious Mothman. On December 15, 1967, a major disaster hit the town of Point Pleasant when the Silver Bridge collapsed during rush hour traffic. The cars plunged into the dark waters of the Ohio River and 46 people were killed in the accident. That night, eerie lights were seen in the sky all over Point Pleasant. The Mothman was never seen again after the bridge collapsed. Many people believe that Mothman had something to do with the disaster. Mothman has also been sighted just before other world tragedies, such as the tsunami in India, Chernobyl in Russia, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, and September the 11th in New York. In 2000, the story was made into a movie, The Mothman Prophecies, starring Richard Gere and Laura Linney. The paranormal reality TV show Paranormal State investigated the Mothman mystery in 2008. Urban Legend in. Tis Maria, Clark Mobilicat. There was once a tale of three sisters who wanted to be together forever and always. Whoever comes near them will instantly face untimely death and the ones who threaten to separate them will suffer for all time. This accident-prone area gained notoriety because of the numerous accidents that occur. Here, car drivers honk their horn and make the sign of the cross as they pass the trees to pay respect and as a form of asking permission to pass by their territory. If you pass this road, make sure to pay your respects and honk your horn.